Hey guys, Matter of Fact for Seven the Second here with another episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Last time we defeated Hermie the Third, got the first Bean Star piece, and we met Bottle. And today we're going to hear about these neon eggs. By the way, remember Bottle? Like, hey, you know about him? Like six years ago, I used to think that he was Eggman until I found out his name. And Apparently, there's already someone named Eggman, or as I and other people like to call him, Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, you remember Dr. Robotnik. Snooping as usual, I see. Let's talk to this guy. Indeed, I am the architect who designed the very theater. I am called Favor. You know, this is probably one of the characters with the least memorable names in the game because... He's not all that memorable. The, not to say he's a bad character. And also, indeed, I'm the older brother of the Castle Town's greatest intellectual. Are you talking about the guy who told me to find the beanstones? <laughs> what? 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 Neon eggs, you say? How do you know I'm a neon egg fiend? That's right. Some know me as an architect, and some know me as an intelligent intellectual's older brother. But in reality, I'm just an old man who loves neon eggs. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, this guy is the guy who's going to tell us how to find the neon eggs. Perhaps. You'll get why I said that in a few minutes. Well, or more like a few seconds. And also because... Wait, you want to know what food makes Yoshi's ne way eat neon eggs? Perhaps. Well, that's bean fruits, perhaps. Bean fruits are native to the Bean Bean Kingdom. They grow underground, perhaps. First, take the bean fruit out of the ground. Then feed it you dug up to a Yoshi. Then you get a neon egg, perhaps. You know, there's nothing wrong with an old man being a neon egg fiend. I never even found a single neon egg in all my life. Very well. However, the knowledge I have gained after s much collecting and searching it is not exact. But in my head, I have a map that shows kind of the general area of where bean fruits may be. Get ready in three, two, one. Perhaps! What? What? You're going to find them and feed them to the Yoshis? Hmm. It's very good how they, it's very creative how they made the speech bubble move along with him when he was walking. Okay, I'll tell you. Indeed, I will now tell you. I'll show you a map that points out the general location of some bean fruits. I'll put marks on your map. Perhaps. Go to the areas I marked on your map and look for suspicious spots surrounded by grass or rocks. If you find such spots, there's no mistaking a bean fruit lies in the dirt of that spot. By the way, to dig up a bean fruit, just dig underground once and pop back up. Perhaps, if you're lucky. Okay. As you see, now there are only three bean fruits on the map because we actually got four of them earlier. So you, some of you probably missed some of them because with the leader of the deleted footage. I can't remember if I got any bean fruits off screen or not there. So yeah. Alright. Now it's time to look for some more stuff. Let's knock this idiot down. All right.
We're going to face the worst boss in the entire game right now. Also known as Piranha Bean. He takes forever to kill because you can't bring any brothers attacks and he has very high defenses. Yeah, this boss is really annoying. So, and because he takes forever and it's pretty much the entire match is where he shoots fireballs at you. So yeah, let's just fast forward the entire battle. Boss. Now, I'm surprised that my attacks actually gave him, like, around 22 damage because normally when I face him, they only give, like, around 2 or 4 damage. Well, Luigi, you saved me, didn't you? I thank you so much. You're a huge help. But my, my, Luigi, look at how you've grown. I see, I guess I wasn't aware of the whole shrinking business. I never understood how... what made him shrink. Say, Luigi, I'm not too fond of this body size. Do you think you could change me back? Think that you know such cool moves. You're a real zero. I mean hero. Yep. Yeah. Not only did he shrink, but it seems his brain must have shrunk too. Okay, but be careful. Look at that difference in my shine now that I'm back to normal. Zing! Now that's a shine! Thank you so much, Luigi. I feel like I must thank you. Please, I insist you accept this. I found this inside that large piranha plant back there. Please take it! Right. Well, I've returned to my old self once again, so there's no point in staying here longer. But I will definitely be getting the next Bean Star piece. One, be sure to give my regards to Mr. Red Mustache. Wait a minute! He doesn't even know Mario's name, and yet he knows that they're called the Mario Brothers. I understand that's because their last name is Mario as well, but... But come on! Maybe meet again after gathering the Bean Star pieces. Yeah. Piranha Bean is indeed an annoying boss. Yeah, let's go back down here. Oh! I forgot something. I never equipped that new badge. But then again, it's not really good for for them either. So I so it doesn't matter that I didn't equip that badge earlier. I'm gonna show you some the Bean Bean outskirts because you didn't get to see it. Then again. Well, I think now we have... Nope. Oh yeah, and I never got that part over there. <gasps> that reminds me! And Luigi's growing a level. And... So, like I was saying, when we... Like I was saying, when we dug up that one thing, and that bean, that reminds me! Yeah, it reminds me. I never got this one either. By the way, the reason... You hear that annoying sound upstairs? I don't know why, probably because they're working on the pipes or something like that. I honestly have no idea what the heck people are doing. And ironically enough, that one bin that I got 
I noticed that like right when I was recording the when I was about to upload the footage for part 12 which I did on the exact same day I was starting to record footage for this part and Mario gained a level and there's also a chuckle being buried around here Come on, come on, where is it? I know I moved Mario over here when he was tiny and... Oh, it's right here. And I am back here because we got a new ingredient. One whole and ready to go. I wasted beans. Oh well. I wanted to trigger that next cutscene, but it appears that, well, at least we'll be, we'll be able to raise our stats. We got another bean fruit! So, yeah. Now we can finish the shortcut between the Hoo Hoo Mountain Descent and Hoo Hoo Village. Yep, this is where we were. This is the thing that led to Hoo Hoo Village. By the way, here's something I... He pretty much forgot until now. If you had something like this, press both the L and A button to set them back to default. What I mean by that is send them both back to jump. And I can't believe I missed this. By the way, this is like in the northwestern area of Bean Bean. And we got another bean fruit right here. We have all of them. Oh yeah, I forgot I was supposed to give them to the Yoshis. I can't believe I forgot again. Wow, fruit, thank you. At first they taste like beans, but then the flavor of fruit oozes out. Bean fruits is the best. I just hope that's not the one that Piranha Plant ate. Well, you can take that. Oh yeah. I did well asking you to. My neon eyes are beautiful. I'm the same you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha 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 ha. You did it. You did it. All right. Hooray. It's complete. Bonsai. Thanks to you, my theater is now complete. Marvelous. Very well. As promised, here's your reward. Now we have half of the bean star. Excellent. We're going to be rather busy preparing for our grand opening. Pardon us. Oh, and I never got... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We have to be really good to reach that one. And now they have Ultra Nuts and Ultra Syrup. Alright. Oh, and by the way, the reason I didn't push this earlier is because 
we wanted to get some of the optional stuff before before we went through that path because there's because it's actually the pathway to the next Bean Star piece. All right. Now we can get this. Okay. Oh wait, did I get this? Yes, I did. Gosh, they should leave a mark to have us know that we've already been to it. Alright, so... Time to go to Horror Hall Studios. YARF! Impossible! No way am I working with explosive colors like those! Water, drink too much water. Honestly, what is one to do with such riffraff? Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm called Harhall, genius designer. I'm also called Bleach. Yes, we are one and the same. You know? Did you know? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, whatever. Am I correct in assuming you're interested in the Splat Assistant opening? Actually, I'm very interested. Fine, fine. If you do a decent enough job, I'll pay you. Your pay will be... A bean thing that... A bean thing... Like thing that cascaded down from the heavens. Ta-da! Oh, yeah. What? You have some sort of complaint? Hmm? 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 That's better. Now then... You can help me with my splat right away. You must be snappy. Just do it and get it done. But don't mind me. I'll just give you a little advice while you work. Trust me, you need it. First, grab yourself a drink so you can become a proper splat water pump. Must be able to pump out water like a human fire hydrant? Wait, will you excuse me? Sorry about that. Oh wait. Fine, fine, I'll explain this method to my genius. To the genius of Splark defies explanation. First, you must dye the fabric. Press the B button to shoot water at the design bomb. Try it already, try it! Hey, I forgot to set the hammer. The color is designed by your head. The color is the fabric. But by the way, if you hit two design bombs at the same time, then fabric color becomes a mixture of those two colors. Don't forget, it's vital to splurge. And one more teensy thing. If you're dying fabric and you think, barf, that's all wrong. Just talk to Bleach. I'll make the fabric nice and shiny white for you. Once you're done dyeing, then you can choose your design. You get to shoot water at the artsy bombs again. Isn't it fun? It's so fun you could die? The design of the design bomb you shoot. Yeah, design is the shirt. Great. The patterns are... Tropical design, the polka dot design, and the checker design. By the way, if you hit two or more design bombs, the pattern always ends up becoming a star. Remember that. Once you're done with the design, I'll just decide if it perfectly matches the artistic vision of Splark. So yeah, anyways, that's the method to my genius. And now I'll need you to finish four outfits for me, okay boys? Hop to it. Get started on your first assignment with all speed. As for design, anything will do. Just give me a red color. You have to wait for the right time. Oh. Wait. The 
red with a star. That's good. Yes, that's it. That one will do fine. Next, on to the next one. Let's see, the next design is, I want something in yellow. Oh, and with a checkered pattern. Yellow checkerboard coming up. Oh my! This has no pattern yet. What, do you want to start fresh? Yes. I want something in yellow and in a checkered pattern. It's very nice of him to... For him to let us... To change the color if you don't like... Yes, that's it. That will do fine. Next, on to the next one. Let's see, the next design is... Give me some purple with a polka dot flare. Okay, purple polka dot is coming right up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. Poke it at one. Let's get it. Um, come on. Uh, yes! Yes, that's it. That would be fine. Next, on to the next one. Let's see, the next design is... I'm depressed, but I crave brown, but with a star. Wait, hold on. Remember, to make a star pattern, just hit two or more design buttons at once. Okay? Come on, get them all in the... You know, they're mixing up, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, darn it. Okay. Da, 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 da. Ugh. Okay, come on, I hope I can line them up this time. One. Ah! Good thing that didn't hit any of them. All right! Splendid, we're all done here. This means I must pay you with a bean-like thing, as promised. Go next door and get your pay. All right. See, here's the bean-like thing like I promised you. Take it with you. All right. We got the third piece of the bean star. Next time, we are going to try to get the next one. Oh, and we'll also work on some more things here. See you then!